Let's review the basic principles of a voltmeter. To begin with, let's discuss what is meant by the term voltage. Consider an automobile battery. A battery stores energy in chemical form. It has wires that connect the terminals to things such as an automobile starter motor, electric windows, the radio, and so forth. In particular, when we think about something like a starter motor or power windows, objects in motion is a, uh, requires mechanical energy. So chemically stored energy is ultimately converted by way of electrical energy into mechanical energy. So different, different ways of conveying energy around. Now we connect one terminal that's labeled plus and another terminal labeled minus to the rest of the system. We have an indicator on the battery that this is a 12 volt battery as well. Let's briefly talk about the units for voltage. One volt is defined in terms of fundamental SI units as one joule per coulomb. So one joule divided by one coulomb. Now what does that mean? Well, we say that there's a, uh, an energy required of one joule, and this is the amount of energy that's required to move one coulomb of electrical charge. So voltage gives us a, a sense of how much effort is uh, available to drive charge throughout a system. So when we have something like our starter motor drawing current from the battery, the current circulates through the motor, circulates through the wires, and circulates through the battery. And so again, voltage gives us a, a measure of uh, the, the ability to drive current. It's also a, a referred to as potential difference. We say one end, the positive terminal is at higher potential, the negative end is at lower potential. So again, we need a potential difference in order to drive current. Might be helpful to think of voltage as analogous to pressure. If you think about something like a large water tower associated with municipal water supplies, we know that gravitational potential energy is forcing water towards the bottom of the water tower. If we had a valve and a pipe arrangement, we know that when the uh, valve is closed especially, that the water tower is developing approximately 50 pounds per square inch. Now, if we're trying to measure that pressure, we know that the pressure meter should not leak water. So we say the pressure meter has high resistance to water flow. If we think of water flow as being analogous to electrical current, that gives us an idea that a voltmeter also is a high resistance device. Well, let's consider a 1.5 volt D-cell battery has a voltage of 1.5 volts. Its electrical symbol looks like this, where the long end is positive and the short end is negative. And the symbol for a voltmeter is a circle with a V on the inside. One end is labeled plus and the other is labeled minus, commonly using the red and black colors that I'm showing here. Now I connect the voltmeter directly across the battery and it reads 1.5 volts. If I flip the polarity of the battery such that the polarity is opposite the way the voltmeter is connected, then it reads minus 1.5 volts. So voltage is both polarity and a value. Now suppose a different circuit in which we have a resistive element we might want to measure the res or the voltage across this resistor. In this case, we say the voltmeter reads the voltage drop that appears across the resistor. 
as electrical current circulates through that circuit, some of the voltage appears across the resistor and we, we say that's a voltage drop. This is analogous to a pressure drop in a pipe that's conveying liquid. If we have some kind of obstruction in the pipe, which is analogous to this resistor, we have higher pressure on one side of the obstruction and lower pressure on the other. Now we have instruments that are called differential pressure meters and they have a inlet on both sides of the obstruction. So water does not actually move in those inlets, but it does convey the pressure to the meter. So no flow, but yet it's measuring the, the pressure difference or the pressure drop across that obstruction. So again, we see that the meter has high resistance to flow. Likewise, the voltmeter has high resistance to current.